it's been good so far. You know, I mean, we've been able to get um, more uh, consecutive practices out of them uh, just because we were all, all here for a second session of summer school, so they're in a little better shape physically. So we haven't had to deal with, you know, we had some injury stuff, but we haven't had to deal with just the, the kind of day-to-day -day nagging soreness and, you know, people getting hurt because they're young and weren't ready for it. So, you know, we were able to string together a, a pretty good long run of practices before we took um, some time off and we took about a day and a half, came back yesterday, yesterday was good too. So. I mean, we were in the gym last, last spring without a setter, um, had to train a setter. Um, and, you know, I mean, spring is spring. You, you never have the same lineup on the fall that you have, you know, on the, on the floor in the spring matches anyway. And, you know, there's, there's probably three teams out there right now that, that feel good about themselves because, you know, they played well against Texas last spring. But Texas didn't have this fall's lineup on the floor either. So, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, think it, I think it probably affected us more last spring than, than it is right now because last spring was a long work week with no payday. You know, I mean, you just you don't get to play at all. But um, I'm not seeing any negative effects from, from that right now. I mean, as far as what we're doing, um, live stuff six on six. I mean, the, the effort level is there. The competitive um, fire is there. So I, I don't. I don't know that that has any lasting effect. I mean, Amy Hollowell has. has um, she had a fantastic spring and and really led the team through the summer. Um, she's she's playing extremely well. Um, we were really happy with the things that Tamar Thomas was doing. Tamar Thomas had to take some time off, have her tonsils taken out, um, but she was she was having a good preseason going into that. Um, Denisha House is, is playing well. You know, all of the returners have just kind of picked up where they left off and kind of grown from there. So, uh, we, you know, we have a big junior class. Um, pretty happy with what those guys are doing. I mean, you want to peak late, you know, um, and and we want to we want to certainly be a whole lot better in four weeks than we are right now. Um, our ball control needs to come around a little bit, and you know, we've got two liberos in the gym. One's a freshman, and one's a kid that's never started. So. Um, we're just kind of watching their numbers get better every day as they go. And, and you know, hopefully, hopefully by the time we go to Clemson in a week, week and a half, um, our passing will be where it, where it should be, where we're hoping it is. But, you know, it's a lot of breaking that down and a lot of hours in the gym and a lot of reps with those two kids right now. Um, you know, Clemson's a, a, a program that just went through a coaching change. Um, so, um, you know, I, I know some of the kids in that, in that program, they're going to be talented. To, the kids from Jacksonville are going to be talented and really, really well coached. So, you know, it's, it's typically you're on the road at least three of those four weekends. So um, for us last year, we didn't get a chance to, to be at home until we started conference play. So, um, you know, you, the, it's hard being on the road. It's always hard being on the road. You, just, you want to make every road weekend as much like every other road weekend as you possibly can and get into a routine. So uh, we'll see how that goes.